Tis the season for May gray and June gloom, but how does it form? I'm going in depth to explain what the marine layer is and why it does or does not clear to sunny skies. So let's start with why we see the marine layer on the west coast and not the east coast. Well, the eastern Gulf Stream brings that warm tropical air from the south to the north. While on the west coast, we have water moving from the north to the south, bringing that cold water from the Gulf of Alaska south. The water off the California coast can be as much as 30 degrees colder than water at the same latitude on the east coast. Well, that cold ocean water cools the layer of air above it. This is called the marine layer, while the layer of air above that is warmer, creating an inversion, basically a cap trapping that cold air down below. Well, that air below the inversion can cool to the point at which condensation occurs. And as we know, clouds or fog form. Marine layer clouds often reach their maximum extent around sunrise, as that is when the air near the surface is usually reaches its minimum temperature. Well, once the sun comes up, the sunlight starts to penetrate through those clouds, warming the surface and the air above it, mixing the air and the clouds start to clear. Well, sometimes those clouds spread farther inland, and this can happen when there is low pressure above the marine layer, allowing it to rise and deepen, like when we have a storm approaching the California coast. Near the beach, we have overcast skies, while the marine layer brings fog farther inland. When we have high pressure aloft, we have sinking air due to bringing a shallow marine layer and the fog confined to the coast. A thicker marine layer clears slower as it takes more time for enough warming to occur to evaporate those clouds. Sometimes the clouds get trapped and are just too thick for there to be enough warming. Mixing doesn't happen and overcast skies can last for days. This phenomenon is most pronounced in May and June because the ocean water temperature lags behind the warming of the air overhead, leading to a greater temperature difference and thus a strong Stronger inversion layer.